This almost looks like a buddy cop film or something. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Mad Hatter review, part two, okay? Part two of the Mutant Mayhem saga, taking a look at all the Mutant Mayhem stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm loving Ninja Turtle stuff on the shelves. It might not be the best stuff, but I do love new product and I love uh, going over it. So today, we're going to talk about uh, the van, okay? The Pizza Fire van. I got it right here. Why don't I just take a look? Pizza Fire van. I might do the bike too if I have time. By the way, I was going to start that video or I was going to start this video with the uh, ludicrous Get Out The Way song, but then I was like, I don't want a copyright strike. So if you want to see the commercial, the Playmates commercial, check it out. I'll put a link in the description. But yes, this is the Pizza Fire van right here. I kept calling it the party wagon. It is indeed the Pizza Fire van. And, um, uh, this whole thing is a facade. This is a fake. This is a fugazi. This box is empty. I already took the van out, okay? I'm lying. I'm, I'm pretending that I'm opening this for the first time. I already opened it, okay? I opened it yesterday, but I lost the footage of me opening it and all the stickers, so I'm just going to have to tell you guys all about it when it's open. But here's the box right here if you didn't see it, okay? Party wagon. Ah, I keep saying that. Pizza fire. Sorry. Pizza fire van. You got the new turtles, new movie turtles. You got this pizza shooting action, okay? I have been having a blast with this. This thing really fires, okay? I mean, it gets some distance. It's got a motor. Three, what is it? Three AA, AAA. I forgot the batteries that it takes. Batteries not included, by the way, and you can turn it on, and it is awesome. I'll show you guys the range. You probably already saw that video, but uh, it's really cool. And then you get the side of the box right here, pizza shooters. And then, uh, yeah, all the good stuff that it can do. Man, pizza shooting is such a staple of the 90s, man. It's, it's, uh, he had it on, on vehicles and figures. And uh, I still, I got the retro. Where is this dude? Right here. The, uh, uh, oh my God, the retro uh, uh, Raphael uh, uh, pizza shooter. I think I'm going to display him uh, next, to, uh, next to this thing right here. Remember these, the, the crack addict uh, Ninja Turtles that came out? I love this. I got to get the other ones. But uh, we're not here to talk about that guy. We're here to talk about this, this van, this pizza fire van. And then you get the cross sell right here. And uh, this one has the figures, okay? I think that, yeah, it's not the arts, the figures, uh, Leatherhead, Superfly. Um, I still have to get this vehicle. This is the one I wanted uh, uh, second most, uh, the uh, the battle cycle uh, with Raphael because it has like a sidecar. I'm a, I'm a sucker for a sidecar. And uh, yeah, and eight pizzas, comes with eight pizzas. You get lots of ammo to take out your enemies. I love that. So uh, without further ado, I was going to say, let's go ahead and open this up, but that's a lie. I opened it up already. Let's go to the already open van and we'll do some comparisons too. See you there. All right, we are back. So um, here is the, the, the sum up. I've been thinking about the way to uh, uh, say this, and this kind of goes for uh, the other Mutant Mayhem stuff too. Uh, these toys are very much toys, okay? <laughs> and when I say that, I mean uh, the appeal of these, uh, and it was uh, obvious as soon as I held it in my hand, are um, not as uh, collectibles, okay? When I hold on to this, it doesn't feel like, let's say like a NECA collectible or Super 7 or, or any of that. It doesn't feel like the underground arsenal van. It feels like a toy. It feels like uh, back in the day when you got like a Playmates van or something like that. It feels like the re-release uh, Playmates van, and I'm going to do a comparison with that one uh, as well. So um, it almost like it forces you to change your perspective a little bit. This is not going to be detailed like, you know, like the His Tank or the Valiverse van that's coming out. Don't expect that. But if you're just looking for a really cool, fun, solid toy that honestly, I wish I had this as a kid. It's, it's, it's awesome. Uh, then this fits the bill. Okay. Um, kids, I think are going to love this. Adults, are going to love this again as long as they temper their expectations with if you put this next to you know let's say the upcoming NECA TMNT van it's probably not going to look that good okay but if you just want to have some fun if you just want just a, a, a new design and it is a new design I'll do a 360 on it you've probably already seen it anyway but uh, then, then this one fits the bill okay so let me just give you uh, the side right here uh, well actually before we even do that lots of stickers if you hate stickers buyer beware um i hate stickers uh the little known fact about me me and my buddy marcos we always share our disdain for stickers as soon as i open up a box and i realize it has stickers i'm like mother effer because i never put them on right i always mess up it's 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 always like a thing and uh this has so many of them so that is one thing that 
right away. Again, I, I can't knock it. It's a, a, what is it, a $40 van. Um, it, it's, it's, I don't know. I, how, how, much, how much does it cost to apply stickers? I don't know. But it, it, it comes with... Um, it uh, comes with a bunch of them, and you got to put them all on. And then the rest of it is easy assemble, like this little piece um, uh, snapped on, the pizza snapped on, this blue piece snapped on. So um, it's not too bad. But uh, so uh, yellow and green plastic. Uh, you got tires here. The tires are not rubber. They are um, they are plastic, but they're nice. They say Turtle Power on them, T U R T L E Power. And then uh, I'll go over what, what I think about the stickers. But that's the side of the van. Here is the front of the van coming at you right here. And as you see, it's kind of like purposely like lopsided. You see like uh, uh, the headlight is is almost like embedded in the tire. And this one is um, is uh, completely round. No, I did not mess it up. It, it is uh, supposed to come that way. Uh, so there is a little bit of stylizing already in the van. I do love the uh, front tire with the Turtle Power. Thankfully, this was not a sticker. The Turtle Power was not a sticker. But I do love that this is a tire. It's just a cool take on the turtle van that always has kind of like the circular thing with the symbol in the middle. Uh, headlights are stickers uh, as well. You got the seats right here. No console in, in here to speak of, you'll see that, but it does have a steering wheel. The other side of the van, okay, uh, same thing. Different stickers, turtle power. I think this already, this sticker already was on there. Some things are already on there uh, from the beginning, but, uh, but yeah. And then right here, back of the van and uh, all of this stuff is uh, stickers, uh, extra cheese, and this right here. These two blue pieces, these are handles, you can put them on, and then these are just little foot pegs, which are really cool. FYI, this pizza is supposed to be lopsided, okay? Uh, as you can see, it is lopsided, and it does compress, it does depress down, and that is where the action feature comes in, and I'm gonna show you guys that in a second here. It's real simple the way this works. You pop this down, boom, and the pizza shooter comes right out, and this pizza shooter is awesome okay it uh, has some power to it as soon as you turn on you feel that motor you hear it with a room it's it's really really cool so in terms of pizza pizza shooter um these i think these two stickers i had to put on right here there's a shooter right there and then the pizza just loads into here you just pop all the pizzas in you don't have to do it individually which is really cool this is the on off switch right here so you get the on switch you get the off switch you get the red button that is what makes the pizza fly right here and you just press it and then Boom, you just shot one. Oh my God, where did it go? I have no idea. I think I lost one, but it's okay. I got more. So, um, and then you have this right here. It's kind of like, I don't know what this is, like a periscope or something. It does rotate, okay? Um, these handlebars are cool. Uh, you can have the, the, the turtle hold on to there. And um, then there's like this antenna and this easily comes off. So uh, just be careful. This chair right here is a tight squeeze. I had a problem fitting other characters other than the skinniest Ninja Turtle. So really, I think it's like Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello fit in there. I don't know if Raphael will, but it's it's uh, it's a little unforgiving. It's got this plastic shell there, but um, there's not a lot of room. And then the other problem is uh, making head clearance is the other thing. So he's got to be sort of a short character because if he's not, he's not going to make the clearance into the van and you can't lock him in, okay? Uh, speaking of the interior of the van, let's close that up. And by the way, this wants to pop open all the time, or at least mine. See, there you go. The back of the van right here, you get all the kids in there, okay? As you can see, there's really nothing in there. It's just space, but I don't know. You can, you can put figures in there. You can put uh, other figures in there, really anything you want to put in there, you can if it's this size, okay? There's some physics for you. Here's the front of the van, and the way you get people in is not through the side, it's right here through the front, and then that pops open. Look at that fucking side door, it always wants to pop open. But yeah, you got your two seats, you can fit them in there. If you watch that uh, commercial that uh, I did, um, you could see that the Mirage Ninja Turtle figures, the big boys do fit in there. Well, at least one of them does in the seat. I don't think the other one, the other one probably just gets shouldered out. But uh, yeah, uh, you can definitely fit a bigger turtle in there. This steering wheel rotates, by the way, in case anybody wants to know. So this is a nice piece. And because of the mechanism in there, um, I think $40 is a good price. Um, I don't know, 30 to 40, okay? I think any higher would be a no-no. And I think any lower, I think you wouldn't get that mechanism. But with today's prices and plastic and all that, I think uh, you get a really fun turtle van that looks fun and it uh, has playability. That's the word I was looking for. It just has a lot of fun playability. I will say I do not love the stickers, okay? I don't, especially this right here. I don't love this. Um, I mean, it's like Michelangelo in front of some pizza boxes. I would get if this is an advertisement, but it doesn't even look like an advertisement. I'd really just rather have like a window in here. That would be cool. And um, 
I also don't love this. This was not a sticker I applied. This kind of came on here. I get it. It's like, you know, it's in crayon. It's like their first pizza van or something. But I don't know. This makes it look like I almost made this. So um, I wish there was something else other than other than that. Same deal with this sticker. I don't love it. I mean, it's it's again, if it's an advertisement, it doesn't really work for me. I think this whole van could have um, could have used uh, uh, just better stickers. And I wish there was something for the windows. Um, I know that you know, uh, uh, this van is, um, priced, priced to sell, but I, I feel like they could have put something here, at least in the, in the front, uh, uh, windshield or whatever, maybe not the sides, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. But overall, I think this van is a lot of fun. Here's what feels right. Okay. Donatello's driving. Where did his glasses go? Fuck. I got to find him. Uh, but then you got Raphael here and he's all cool, but rude with his fucking uh, arm out the window. That's how I roll. And Michelangelo, I think Michelangelo fits the easiest uh in terms of uh, uh fitting into the uh into the shooter only because he's so small so you can actually get him inside and his head clears the uh his head clears the roof so that's cool and then you know you can have like leonardo just hanging uh off of uh off of the back which is cool uh there is a foot peg in there they have nice big pegs so they can stand and you can get somebody to stand on the other side too if you're curious the animated uh <laughs> the animated NECA ones can fit in the van but man it's such a tight squeeze i mean look at this his head is just like hitting the uh hitting the roof uh so yeah it does not look good um i wish i had a best action figure because i think that that would probably fit in uh well because that that that's a smaller scale this actually is even harder to fit in than the mirage ones because uh you know they have the rounded shell so they don't they don't sit flush but um I don't know. In case anybody was curious, you get that. Uh, here's how uh, <laughs> here's how they look. Uh, uh, you got the Mirage Donatello, uh, the big uh, Mirage Donatello, and then uh, little April in there. If you wanna, if you wanna do that, uh, a smaller, smaller body April. Uh, <laughs> this kind of feels like when you're on a plane and uh, somebody steals your armrest and you just gotta be all cramped there. Uh, that that's kind of how he looks. It's not comfortable. But it can fit in there, so uh, uh, there you go. And let's uh, finish off here with uh, just a comparison on uh, just these different vans. So uh, you got the Cowabunga Carl van. I'm actually going to do something with this, which is why I own it. Um, but, uh, you know, I figured I'd put this in the video right here. And you get the re-release turtle van, and then obviously the new van, the pizza fire van. And I said, what the hell, let me put in the uh, underground arsenal van. That thing is freaking massive. Uh, <laughs> I got too many vans, it's clear. It's kind of like a length comparison, as you can see. So um, I guess it's closest to the Cowabunga Carl van, uh, although that one is a little bigger, definitely heavier. But uh, yeah, if you just want a size comparison, uh, there you go. So the sum up is, uh, do I think this van is worth the price? Yeah, I do. I uh, think this is a lot of fun. I think this is fun for kids and adults, okay? What, what a wholesome statement. There you go. It's fun for the whole family. Uh, again, I don't, know, <laughs> I don't know how much relevance this has in the movie. I'm not going to see the movie until it comes out. I think it's like in August, but uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this. It brings back a lot of Playmates vibes, a lot of nostalgic uh, pizza shooter vibes when you fire that thing off. And uh, uh, it is a great addition to the pantheon of Ninja Turtle vans. And uh, that's it. Um, I'm hoping to do the uh, vehicles. I think I'll, I'm going to try to get the other bike and do a video with both of the bikes uh, at a later time or whenever I can find the, the Raphael bike. But that is all. Let me know what you guys think about this. I'll end this uh, whole thing with some pics and then the video of how far this thing shoots and me looking like a man child. Comment, subscribe, drop me a like. See you next time. Bye-bye.